In 2016, MIG Chief Sergei Korokov commented during an event in South America that by 2028, the fighter interceptor MIG-31 will cease to exist. We have the time to create a new aircraft as a replacement. Back in 2018, MIG CEO Ilya Terezenko told TASS news agency, this is not a mythical project, this is a long-standing project for the MIG and now we are carrying out intensive work under the aegis of the UAC the United Aircraft Corporation and will present it to the public soon. The goal of the PAC-DP program is to develop a replacement for the MiG-31, which entered service with the Soviet Air Force in 1980, and later was upgraded as the MiG-31BM. Russian designers have begun work on assembling the latest MiG-41 fighter interceptor. The Russian state corporation Rostec announced that it has begun work on the construction of the latest domestic fighter interceptor of the new generation MiG-41. At the moment, it is known that development work is being carried out, which implies the creation of at least a prototype of this combat fighter, which, after a series of tests, can be put into mass production. It is known that by now the MiG-41 fighter has passed at least 200 different tests, and the initial data, which is publicly available on the public procurement website, makes it possible to judge the high maneuverability of this combat aircraft, thereby revealing a number of its characteristics. Any timing for the implementation of this project remains unknown, however, Experts believe that by 2023 the MiG-41 will make its first flight, after which, towards the end of this decade, it will be put into mass production and will be supplied to the Russian Aerospace Forces. The MiG-41 is a multi-role fighter aircraft. This supersonic fighter is expected to revolutionize the world of air combat with its Mach 4 Plus speeds and advanced avionics systems, giving it unmatched agility and maneuverability. With a range of up to 5,000 km, the MiG-41 is designed to patrol short- and long-range missions. The MiG-41's powerful engines are designed to propel the aircraft towards a top speed of Mach 4+, making it one of the fastest combat aircraft in the world. This allows pilots to quickly reach mission targets and evade incoming threats. The advanced avionics systems help to increase agility and flexibility during high-velocity maneuvers and dogfights, allowing pilots to outmaneuver enemy forces even at high speeds. The MiG-41 features an advanced avionics suite, which includes a new radar system, advanced navigation systems, and an electronic warfare suite. This enables the pilot to make quick decisions on the battlefield and keeps them ahead of their enemies. It also allows them to fly further and faster, enabling them to cover more terrain in less time. The advanced systems provide greater situational awareness, allowing pilots to quickly identify threats and take appropriate countermeasures. The MiG-41 is also equipped with stealth technologies that enable it to avoid detection from radar systems. The aircraft incorporates low observables and advanced materials in its design, making it difficult for enemy radar systems to detect the MiG-41. Additionally, the jet's engines are designed to reduce its infrared signature, making it less likely that infrared sensors will pick it up. This suite of stealth technologies enables the MiG-41 to remain undetectable while cruising at supersonic speeds. The MiG-41 can carry an additional fuel tank to extend its operational range. Using its autonomous flight controls, it can refuel in mid-flight using aircraft carrying aerial refueling systems or refueling pods. This capability enables the MiG-41 to achieve long-range missions that would not be achievable with traditional fighters. Additionally, its advanced avionics allow for autonomous takeoff and landings, a valuable feature for extended missions without relying on a support crew or ground infrastructure at distant locations. The MiG-41 would also be capable of carrying anti-satellite missiles and could operate in near-space environments. 
Some reports even claimed that the aircraft could even shoot down an incoming hypersonic missile. The MiG-41 will also sustain much higher altitudes, though concrete details have been murky. Russian defense commentators have widely speculated that the PAK-DP will be able to reach near space, but Terezenko seemingly implied to Russian outlet RIA Novosti that the PAK-DP can operate in outer space. Earlier reports suggested that Mikoyan is exploring an unmanned PAK-DP variant. The full extent of PAK-DP's weapons loadout remains unclear. Then head of the Russian Aerospace Forces Viktor Bondarev told reporters earlier this year that the MiG-41 will carry R-37 long-range air-to-air missiles, as well as completely new missiles. Initially conceived in the 1980s and finally introduced in 2019 after a long R&D hiatus, the original R-37 will be fairly dated by the time the MiG-41 enters serial production. A modernized, hypersonic R-37M variant is currently in development, but its compatibility with the MiG-41 has yet to be confirmed. According to a report by Russian news outlet Izvestia, the MiG-41 will carry a multifunctional long-range interceptor missile system capable of hitting hypersonic missiles with multiple warheads. The concept, as explained by Izvestia, is fairly straightforward, after a hypersonic projectile is detected by Russia's ground radars or early warning network, the MiG-41 will launch the interceptor missile at long range. That missile will split off into smaller sub-missiles, which will then attack the projectile head-on. Russian defense expert Dmitry Kornaya suggested that the system could also be used to target hypersonic missile launchers before they fire. The MiG-41S interceptor system can potentially add a salient layer to Russia's missile defenses, though it is unclear if the system is intended against ICBMs or tactical hypersonic missiles. The PAK-DP, along with the PAKTA strategic bomber, is fast emerging as one of Russia's most technically sophisticated fighters. But, as is often the case with major Russian military projects, much of our current information is based on press statements, industry insider leaks, and expert analysis. It remains to be seen how the PAKDP project evolves as it inches closer toward serial production over the coming decade.